All right, welcome back. This is the last of our videos for editing, and in fact, this is the last of our polygon editing and of the, all the editings in the arc map environment. And what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to briefly be talking about the concepts of union versus merge when we have multiple polygons. Uh, important idea here is that merging, when we uh, both of these act to take two distinct polygons that share a boundary and, in a sense, combine them into a single polygon, in other words, dissolving them into each other. Union uh, occurs when the two polygons are brought together and they create a new polygon that does not inherit any of the attributes of either of the previous polygons. And so, in other words, all of its attributes would be empty. Merge we use when we have a polygon that we've created and we want to kind of append it onto an existing polygon and we want the new part to inherit the attributes of the principal polygon. So let's take a look at what this means uh, in terms of our task. What we've done, remember, is we cut out a piece of the county boundary and we then formed the coastline. We then created another polygon that is Presque Isle. Now what we could do, we could union those two pieces together and have them have no attributes to them. And that would be kind of this new, if you will, the downtown Erie area. Alternatively, and what I've done is I've, I've named the, bound, the, the coastline, we could append the Presque Isle component onto that and inherit the attributes of that downtown area. And that's what we're actually going to do. I'm going to have us do a merge so that you see how this works. Okay. So now we're in our environment here. And again, main thing I want you to remember, merge takes one piece and brings it into an existing piece. And that the kind of the prime, if you will, the, the, the receiving piece is maintained. So again, for example, we're going to do a merge here. And what I'm going to do is take and merge this part of Presque Isle with the shoreline. So again, we're going to start our editor. And again, we're going to be editing PA counties here. So I'm going to right click, edit features, start editing. And in this case, so what I do first is I'm going to select the two pieces that I'm interested in. There's one, hold down the shift key, select the other one. And now when I do editor, and I'm going to go to merge, and again, choose features to which the other feature will be merged. Erie County is this piece here. That's what I named, or Erie Shore. That's what I named this one here. And I want to join this piece to that. Okay. Um, again, choose the feature with which the other feature will be joined. So I want this piece to be joined to this piece. So that's what I've highlighted. Now I'm going to hit OK. And what I want you to notice is, again, this boundary now ceases to exist. And now if I look at the identity of it, you're going to notice that I kept the Erie Shore attribute. Anywhere on here is now Erie Shore. And so that's one option. And again, that would allow us to combine these into the original. So in other words, I'm adding this piece to this. I'm going to stop the edit now for a minute, and I'm going to discard that edit. And we'll be back to where we started. Now, I want to show you the difference between that and a union. So again, we're going to go back to our editor. And in this case, we're going to start editing. And again, we're going to select our two feet pieces again. Similar idea. Shift key, hold it down. And now, though, I'm going to use the union tool. Now, what is important about this is please note that originally we had two pieces. And now I'm going to do union. And I'm going to use a template. And again, I could literally use any other feature class to do this. But I'm going to choose, obviously, the one that I'm going to go into. And I'm going to click OK. Now, what we ended up with, and this is a really important idea, is that this feature class now, and I'm going to open up our attribute table. And here's our selected attribute. And it's this one right here. The union did not, you'll notice it doesn't have the name that was the original feature. It's simply a new feature. What is important about this, though, and I'm going to get rid of all of these, and I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom, 
you'll notice that Erie Shore and the other piece still exist. Let me show you these. So if you look at this, okay, that's now I've got this one highlighted. I'm going to move this down a little bit. You'll notice that the Erie Shore piece actually exists underneath the other one. We now have both the combined ones and the two pieces of them. And that's really oftentimes not what we want. Um, what I could literally do, and again, I'll just do your last example here. I'm going to move this up. Um, actually, I'm going to close this for a moment. So you'll notice now that what I actually have in terms of all of these is I have three polygons. And so again, if I go back into this and I open this up and I'm going to select that new polygon, the 71, you'll notice that that polygon has all of this together. Now, what I could literally do is move this one, and I'm going to do that right now just so you see it. That's a new polygon that is the union of those two. That's really oftentimes not what you want to do. You want to union them and get rid of the other pieces. Unioning has some purposes, but most of the time we really want to do a merge here. So again, union can be done, and unioning is done when we want to bring something together into a new form, and then typically what we'll do is delete the other ones out. All right, so what I'm going to do here, we're going to go back to our editors. I'm going to stop editing, and I'm not going to want to save that. And now I am going to, in fact, do my merge. And we're going to start our editing again. And this is what I would like you to do. We're going to be in PA counties. We're going to select this one and this one. We're going to, in this case, merge them. And we're going to merge them into the Erie Shore. Click OK. We now have that. And now, again, we're going to create, we're going to, uh, I'm sorry, save our edits. And we're going to stop editing. So now, we have now completed all of our tasks for our editing. So what I would like you to do is take a screenshot of our Erie area. And then we're going to do, I'm going to zoom back out. And I'm going to show you all the things that I want. So I want one screenshot of that. And then let's go to zoom to this layer. And then I would like a single screenshot right down here in Pittsburgh that shows, again, I'm going to turn on my streams and my rivers, that shows that you've done your editing here and here. And then lastly, I would like you to show me that you have put in Grove City College and Slippery Rock on a third screen capture. Okay, that's it for editing. Uh, good luck with it. If you have any questions, please see me in class.